Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about MBR partition in Linux using fdisk command. And if you are following along with the series, then in the last video I mentioned that MBR is a traditional method of disk partitioning in Linux which only supports drives up to 2 terabytes in size and which can only allow to have up to 4 primary partitions per drive and there is a new method for disk partitioning in Linux which is called GPT method which we are going to discuss in the next video. So let's continue with our MBR method in this video. So here's my virtual box and I have a virtual machine named Saint OS and if I scroll down a little bit then uh, you can see that I have given 30 GB space for this virtual machine. Now I want to add more space so that I can use that space to create a MBR partition. So to add more space, click on settings, go to storage, click on controller SATA and then click on this second icon that says adds hard disk. Now to add more space, click on create, hit next, next and now we can give the space that we want for the MBR partition so let's say 20 GB create and if you scroll down then you can see there are two unattached 20 GB virtual hard disk actually I had already created a virtual hard disk before so that I can use one of them for the GPT partition in the next video so that's why here I have two unattached virtual hard disk but in your virtual machine, there should be just one unattached virtual hard disk. If you haven't created any other virtual hard disk before in your virtual machine. So the first one, the first virtual hard disk with the 20 GB, I'm going to use it in this video for the MBR partition. And the second one I'll be using in the next video for the GPT partition. So I'm going to click this and hit choose. So here the first virtual hard disk is attached to my virtual machine okay now let's start this virtual machine now I'm going to use my mobile XTERM to connect to that virtual machine Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type fdisk then hyphen l and I'm going to pipe it with less. This command will show us the partition in our virtual machine in the less terminal. So let's hit the enter. Okay, so at the top there is slash dave slash sda and there is a 30 GB space. So this SDA is the first partition that got created when I installed my operating system in the virtual machine. And if I go to this line, then here we can see slash dave slash sdb with 20 GB space. And this is the partition that we just created so that we can use this for our MBR partition. And you can see that uh, this SDA virtual hard disk it has this two partition SDA1 and SDA2. This asterisk indicates that it is a primary partition and it has a type of Linux. And the second one SDA2 is the Linux LVM. LVM means logical volume. So in our previous video we mentioned three partition types the primary partition extended partition and the logical partition. So let me briefly explain what those partitions actually are. The primary partition is the one in which the operating systems will be installed on. So the primary partition can be used to boot the operating system. We can divide a primary partition into extended partition and the extended partition is used to hold the logical partition. So the only use of extended partition is to add the logical partitions or logical drives from our primary partition and the logical partition or the logical drives is the space 
that holds the files that are unrelated to the operating system. So pretty much everything else on your computer like your data, audio, video, etc. are actually stored on the logical drive. And the logical drive itself is stored on the extended partition. And the extended partition is created by simply dividing the primary partition. So with the MBR technique, we can only have four primary partitions. And if you want to get more than four partitions, then you have to divide the primary partition into extended partition and define several logical volumes or the logical partitions. And here you can see that for the primary partition in SDA1, there is a space of 1 GB. And for the logical partition or the logical drives, the space in our SDA2 is 29 GB. And here we just added SDB virtual hard disk but we haven't partitioned this uh, virtual hard disk. That's why we don't have uh, SDB1 or SDB2 like for this SDA. And don't worry about these two uh, partitions. These are just a part of our SDA hard disk. So we can see that 26.9 GB plus 2.1 GB is uh, 29 GB. So these two are the part of our SDA2 which has the 29 GB space. So the virtual machine itself partitioned these two disks. So now uh, let's quit the terminal. And now we will begin to partition our SDB virtual disk. To do that, type F disk. And also notice that I am a root user. But if you are not the root user, then you will have to add sudo command in the beginning. So sudo F disk, then slash Dave slash sdb hit the enter now it's really easy to partition the hard disk in linux now you can see it says type m for help so if you type m then it will give all the options that you want to use for the disk partition and we want to add a new partition so to add a new partition the command we need to type is n so let's press n and hit enter so now uh, we have two options, P for primary partition and E for extended partition. So uh, we can only create extended partition when we have primary partition and we don't have any primary partitions yet. So we will hit P to create a primary partition. Now we have to give the partition number and it says we can give from one to four because MBR supports just four primary partitions and we are going to create our first primary partition so we'll give the number one now it asks for first sector and this is just the starting point or the starting sector of our virtual disk and as you can see uh, the default is 2048 so we can just give the default value for this hit enter and now it asks for the last sector so uh, the overall sector of our virtual hard disk is from 2048 to this long number and this is the last sector and this is the first sector and the default value it is giving is the last sector of our hard disk so if we type this number then our entire hard disk will be selected as a primary partition so you can either copy paste this number or you can simply hit enter to choose the default value so let's hit enter and as you can see it said created a new partition 1 of type Linux and of size 20 GB so it just occupied our entire space 20 GB for our primary partition now if we type P and hit the enter so now we have this SDB 1 with the size of 20 GB of type Linux and here we haven't actually created the partition yet. This is just a description. If you want to save it as the final partition, then you have to type W and hit the enter. But uh, we don't want just one partition in our hard disk. So to cancel all the configuration, we have to hit Q and then press enter. And if we check the F disk again, then you can see we still have this SDB disk with 20 GB. We don't have that SDB1 because we didn't save it. 
Now let's repeat the process again and this time we will create more than one partition. So fdisk slash dev slash sdb. Actually let's clear the screen first so that we can have a clear look. fdisk slash dev slash sdb. Now we can type n to add new partition. So we are going to create a primary partition. You can either type p or you can just hit enter since the default value is p. Now since this is the first partition we will type 1. For the first sector we will just take the default value. And now since we are creating more than one partition we don't want to give the entire space in this partition. So if we hit enter or if we give this default value then again first partition will take up the entire size but this time we will give a custom size or the custom space. Now to give the custom space we have to type plus and we have to specify the exact size that we want to give. So here we can see uh, there is K, M, G, T and P options there. K is for kilobytes, M is for megabytes, G is for gigabytes and so on. So let's say we want to give this partition a space of 5 GV then we have to type 5 then G make sure it's capital and press the enter okay so now it said uh, it created a partition of type Linux of size 5 GB okay so the first partition has been created now let's create one more partition so let's hit N again and as you can see now there is just three primary partitions left but now we will create an extended partition so press E and hit the enter now this is a second partition so we will give the value of 2 okay so for the first sector we can use the default value and for the last sector let's give all the remaining space to this extended partition so we can simply hit enter so as you can see the extended partition has been created with the size 15 GB now we cannot use the extended partition directly the use of extended partition is to hold the logical partition so we have to create logical partitions so let's add the logical partition by typing n and it automatically said adding logical partition 5 uh, this 5 is the partition number so the number of primary partition was uh, 1 then the number of extended partition was 2 but the logical partition always starts with the number 5 so that's why the first logical partition will have the number of 5 so that's why it's a partition 5 okay so the first sector will be default and let's create a logical partitions of 5 GV so plus 5 G okay so the new partition 5 has been created uh, with the size 5 GB and the type is Linux actually we can also change the type of partition so to change the partition type we can hit T and then press enter and it's asking for which partition number do we want to change the partition type. So let's change the partition type of our first partition that is the primary partition. So let's press 1. Now we'll have to give the hex code of that partition type. Now we don't know the hex code of any partitions. So to see the list of all the hex codes we can press capital L and then press enter. So these are all the partition types that we can give to our partition and uh, the most common partition types are this one Linux which is the default partition type which has the hex code of 83 and we have this Linux swap with hex code 82 and we also have this Linux LVM that is Linux logical volume with the hex code 8E and these three are the most common partition types so by default our primary partition is this Linux type so to change this Linux type into Linux swap type we have to give this 82 hex code so if we give 82 and press the enter now our primary partition has been changed into Linux swap partition and to check we can type P and press enter so as you can see 
our SDB1, which is our primary partition, has been changed into Linux swap type. SDB2 is our extended partition and SDB5 is our logical partition. So logical partition always begins from the partition number 5. So that's why uh, here we have SDB5. If we add uh, more logical partitions, then it will be SDB6, SDB7 and so on. Okay, so let's add one more logical partition. Press N and it says adding logical partition 6 so the first value is going to be default and uh, let's give all the remaining space to this logical partition so our extended partition has the size of 15 GB from that 15 GB we give 5 GB to our first logical partition that is SDB5 and now if we give all the remaining space to our second logical partition then it should be of size 10 GB so let's press enter and as you can see the new logical partition 6 has been created with the size 10 GB if you type P then we have SDB 6 with 10 GB size okay now to save all these partitions we have to press W and press the enter now if we check F disk hyphen L and see in the less terminal now you can see all the partitions that we just added in our SDB disk and uh, to sum it up in the beginning we added 20 GB space in our virtual machine out of that 20 GB we gave 5 GB space to create our primary partition and we changed the type into Linux swap and then we created extended partition with all the remaining 15 GB and then from this 15 GB we gave 5 GB to our first logical partition and the remaining 10 GB to our second logical partition and now our SDB disk has been full so we can't add any more partition in this because we used all the 20 GB, 5 GB for the primary partition and 15 GB for the extended partition with these two logical partition and that's how you partition the disk in Linux with MBR technique using the fdisk command. In the next video we will see how to partition the disk in Linux using GPT method using gdisk command. So that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you soon with the next video. Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.